friends. Today I'm drawing uh, these, they're called a moth orchid. I have a couple in my backyard that have been blooming beautifully and have always felt that these orchids are a little bit challenging to draw because of all the shapes and sizes. So before I start to paint them, maybe in the next day or so in the tutorials, I would like to just share with you my process of drawing these um, from even their leaves. And I drew these from the leaves on my plant. I wish I could show you, but um, again, my camera skills aren't so great yet. Um, and just a little bit of how I use some guides to draw these orchids. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is just, I don't know what this paper is I have. Um, just sketch paper I can link for you if you'd like, if you're interested. And let me grab my pencil. So I'm using my pearl wing pencils. Um, again, I love these because I use these erasers so much and these have a replaceable eraser. Also kind of like how they're thin and they have a great point on them. What I would first do, um, if you have watched my other tutorials, and maybe I can link those on drawing flowers down below, I start with a circle and then I create these guidelines. It just helps me place my petals so they're not all crazy and wonky and crooked, although sometimes that's just the case in nature. So I'm going to start with that. And what that's going to consist of is I'm going to draw this circle. Now I'm drawing quite a bit darker because I want you to be able to see this. Um, normally I would not draw this dark because it would be harder to paint over in my watercolors, which can be very transparent. So here we go. In the middle is going to be one second. Let me grab my pad here which I do not have in front of me. Okay, so here is a circle here. In the middle, I noticed it has this little knob looking thing almost. And this is from the close-ups I took of my um, orchid that I have growing in the backyard. So I went ahead and added that in. Now I'm somewhat lightly going to add in these guidelines. So I've got four lines here. This little kind of bell-shaped center, and then it had, I don't know, this kind of reminded me of a little tongue coming out of the bottom. And I noticed on an orchid, it had these three, almost in a triangular shape, leaves coming out, not leaves, I'm sorry, petals. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of those. So coming out here at the top is that top petal. And then let's actually draw these side petals here. And the way I did that is I started on top of that bell shape did like a half moon here, coming back in, and then out along that circle, and back in, like that. I'm going to mirror that on the other side, which sometimes in itself can be a bit of a challenge. So I've got kind of these two wings coming out. And then from here, I'm going to come out. Like this. And create that bottom. Now I'm not going to be able to erase this these lines very well. And then you've got these two side pieces. And keeping in mind, it's kind of creating this triangle. 
So here's the top of the triangle. And then coming down like this. So we've got this triangle shape, okay? Now in the middle here, there's these two inner petals and they kind of can swirl and fold. So I'm going to again, mimic a little bit of this shape of this outer petal, but smaller. And then coming back in towards the center. Same thing on the other side. And I will add a little lip on here where maybe it's folding over like that. So it's somewhat of a mirror of these outer petals, but it's smaller and inside. Now, once I do this, I'm going to, let's see if I can, sorry for that camera shaking, erase some of those lines. Let me grab a brush here to erase. Normally you would not put this dark of lines because it can be a little bit hard to erase. And you could even widen these petals coming out if you really wanted to. I'm just going to keep erasing these inner lines here. Now I've almost used up my eraser, but these are replaceable. So you just pull out, let me do it on this one, pull it out, raise the eraser and then put it back in. So really, really handy. Let me just go around and try to erase these dark lines so you can get a little bit of a feel for what our final orchid looks like. So if you'd like, um, we can also, let's just draw maybe another one here. I'm gonna draw it a little bit bigger and I'm actually making the lines a little bit smaller. And let's just do that one more time. So in the center, we've got this little bell shape. Coming down from there is almost like a little ball. And then lightly, I'm putting in my guidelines. And from here, I'm going to go from the top of that bell shape almost to a little moon and then back up around and we're going to bring that back in like that. Now we're going to mimic that on the other side Just like that. So we've kind of got these little bat wings and then bringing in the top, which could maybe go even a little bit higher if you like. Now this is my version guys of this. This is how I would draw it. So I'm sure if you looked in a botanical book, it may look different. I wish I had my orchid in here. It's out on my patio, but this is what I see. You draw it how you see. And then we're going to come out with this bottom piece here. Okay, 
and then the side pieces and I'm just keeping in my mind it's in a triangle so I'm going to come out here sometimes it just helps me to have that in mind what that maybe should look like You can see that. Let me see if I can maybe erase some of these lines so you get a little bit more clear vision. I know my camera's kind of shaking. I'm trying to do this as gingerly as I can. So there we've got another orchid, okay? The other thing I noticed, oh, and we need to add in two of those little small petals. And they, I noticed they kind of curl in, which is why I'm adding that. Let's do the other one. There we go. So there's a general orchid. Now I noticed my petals on mine were a little bit narrower. If you Google, they can come out quite wide and that's fine as well. The other thing I notice is just these little lines coming out. like that and many times those those curve lines are really important because it brings movement to your orchids or to any flowers I also noticed mine had these little dots these little circles here so I will be painting this, by the way, as well. So there you go. I haven't even gotten into the um, leaves yet, which are really, really fun. But I wanted to give you something that you could maybe practice these on. Now, I do believe, um, I think my petals might have been eaten by a, something. So... To be honest, I would probably bring those out a bit. Something like that. The picture, reference picture, and my my um, orchid was, like I said, kind of chewed up. But in Googling this um, called a moth orchid, It was quite broad so there's a start if you want to practice these the next video I will do we'll put this into more of a plant and we'll add buds and maybe practice some of these um, little orchid leaves and then maybe the video after that we will all paint it together so I hope this was helpful. I hope it was able to bring, uh, kind of break it down into an easier way to look at this. Um, for me, if I take each section and I see it as shapes, like this is a triangle, this is kind of like bat wings, it helps me to put it in perspective and my mind can grasp it and then paint it. And I will list, um, I'll look up my sketchbook. I use this a lot and I actually like it because the paper's a little bit thicker. And I always like things that are bound, um, just like my Artisto pads because I can keep everything together, all of my drawings together, and it just makes sense for me. And then I will also list for you um, this little pearl wing, black wing pencil. Um, which I love. All right, everybody. I hope that was helpful and fun. 
and um, the next day or so I will do part two where we will draw more of a plant. Um, I'll share with you how I draw the orchid leaves and then eventually we will paint these. Have fun everybody and thanks so much for being here. I hope you can give me a like so I know if this is interesting for you. Um, it really inspires me. I love your comments. You're all so sweet. And I just love the um, community that we've built here. And I will talk to you all soon. All right. Have fun, everybody.